Hello everyone and welcome. We are here today to talk a little bit about character education. Now that's a big word and that's a big concept. So we're excited to talk with you, get to know you a little bit better and go through some activities that help us identify how we can start to set goals and identify our own character as we move through this life and get older. So my name is Miss Courtney. Hello, it's great to meet you. And I'm here with one of my favorite people in the world, Miss Lila. Hi, Miss Lila, how are you today? Hi, Miss Courtney, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you, excited to be here. Um, and as we're getting started, as you can see on the screen, the first thing we want to know as an icebreaker is what is the last goal that you met? So this is an interesting thing that I want to think about as well. Um, the last goal that I met, I would have to say, it's having to do with just my health in general. So I made it a goal that I wanted to start eating better and I wanted to be exercising on a regular basis. And that includes going on long stints of doing yoga every other day, changed my life, made me feel a lot better. Love it. So what we want to know is what about you? What's a goal that you set recently that you have set and met in your life? So this can be something like you heard from Ms. Lila and myself, this can be something with your health or with your sleep, your sleep patterns. It can also be with school, with sports, with your family, with your friends. Anything that you have done to meet a goal. And we'll talk more about why that's such an important thing for us. But first, just take a second to think about it and share out with your classmates. So thank you all for taking the time to just do a little bit of reflection. As we move through this process, we're gonna ask a lot of you just to take a minute to share your ideas and your thoughts. And we really want you to be as honest with yourself as you can and with your classmates. And with that said, Lila, this kind of makes this a safe space environment. Can you tell me like what that means when I explain that? Absolutely. So no matter what, you should feel free to express how you feel. Um, we're all here together going through how to set better goals for ourselves. And that can require looking at yourself and being a little critical, which can be hard sometimes, but just know your thoughts, your feelings are safe here with us. Absolutely. Um, okay, so thank you all. And thank you, Ms. Lila. Um, today, I just wanna let you know what we're going to be doing because it's always nice to have expectations of what is coming your way. So you're not shocked when it comes, you're like, I'm not comfortable with this. So the first thing we're going to do is I'll welcome an intro, which we've gone through. And we'll get into a little bit of a pop quiz and talk about growth mindset. We're then going to go to SMART goals. What are they? How can you use them? Achievements and emotions. And then worst case scenarios. We'll get into all the details as we go through things. But that will be our time together. So the first thing we want to talk about is achievements and emotions and how they intersect. Now, Ms. Lila, can you break down this very interesting infographic that you see on the screen called the Moody Meter? Yes. So the Moody Meter is something that it's an easy little tool that we can use to gauge and sort our emotions into broader categories. So it helps us to process them better. So, um, so before we move on from the slide, I just want you guys to think for a minute about how you're feeling today. And we're going to do a quick check in. So remember, if you want to raise your hand more than once, totally fine. But I'm going to ask who is in what zone and just simply raise your hand. And if you're feeling all the zones at the same time, Keep it up. That's totally fine. So, so fun fact, the average human being has 60,000 thoughts per day and 80% of them, almost 50,000 of those thoughts are negative. So if you look at that pie chart, you can see the vast majority of it is red. And those could be thoughts towards yourself, towards the people around you, towards life in general. Um, so affirmations are little positive things you can say to yourself, affirm that you're good, you're okay, you're doing the best you can, and help you move back into the green zone if you are feeling more of those negative emotions. Yes, the first one, easy. I am hopeful. Having hope that things can be better than what they currently are is the key. Uh, the next one, I am excited, even if you're not excited because I know I get this way sometimes. You have to hype yourself up sometimes to get yourself ready to do something. I'm excited about it, let's go, let's get it. Um, and the third one, I have hopes and dreams, so. Okay, so now we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about SMART goals, what they are and what we can do to make them happen in our lives. Now, when we talk about SMART goals, it's an acronym. 
So this actually breaks down into goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. So Lila, tell me a little bit more about what these are and what our activity is. All right, everyone, excellent job with identifying the SMART goals and probably giving yourself a better understanding of what that means. So now what we want you to do is to take that SMART goal and do something crazy with it. Lila, what are we gonna do here? So think about you know, achieving the goal, how great it would feel, but what if you fail? What if everything goes wrong and nothing, absolutely zero things in your plan go right? What is your worst case scenario? And you might be thinking, well, that's counterintuitive. I don't want to think about the bad stuff. If you think about the bad stuff, it's less scary. And it makes it easier for you to think about the things that go wrong. So that way you can fix them on the way to reaching your goal. Or avoid them altogether. Or right? Them. Identifying these problems is a really, it's a great place to start. So we want to start just by showing you a quick video. Um, and it'll give you a better idea of what we're trying to identify here. So check it out. Okay, so now we have another activity for you. Lila, I really love that video. Um, I think it's very clear as to identifying these worst case scenarios and what a conversation to have with people that you care about and being open and just telling them like, hey, I'm really worried about this. That's a really healthy thing to do in your life. Absolutely. So whenever you're talking to someone about your goal, it's okay to be vulnerable and tell them your fears and what you're afraid of. Um, because they can be tools if you know how to address the fear. Absolutely. So we want to hear from you again. We want you to think of something that you really, really want. Maybe it's your SMART goal that you already have identified and you're ready to go with it. And imagine, I know this sounds crazy, imagine the worst case scenario with that goal. So um, maybe I'm going to put you on the spot. Lila, can you give us an example here of something that would be your worst case scenario for a goal? Oof, I think... I really want to get back into sword fighting again because I do sword fighting for a stage and screen. My worst case scenario was getting injured and having like a career ending injury. Um, I know it's common. It can happen. But I know in my brain, if I stretch consistently, if I practice the right way, if I'm careful with the weapons, I won't hurt myself. <laughs> and that is something I did not know about you. So that's <laughs> excellent. Thank you for sharing. Uh, and please be careful. Uh, yes. Great example. And it can be something small too, like, hey, my SMART goal is that I want to get an A in this class. Worst case scenario is that I get an F in the class, don't pass the class and have to take it again. So you can think about what brought you to that worst case scenario, identifying those problems, and that strengthens your SMART goal overall. Uh, so we want to hear from you. Share with us what are your SMART goals and and it can just be one. Remember, it can be school related or otherwise. And then what is a worst case scenario? Feel free to be a little silly, not a lot, but you can be creative with your responses here if you would like. And thank you all for sharing. Uh, Lila, can you share with us this wonderful quote that we have on the screen? Yes, I found this. Nobody knows who said it, but it rings true. Never let success get to your head. Never let failure get to your heart. So... Think about what this quote means to you. To me, it means that we're human and we're going to succeed. We're also going to fail, but you should never let it affect you in a way that changes who you are. Absolutely. I love that. Um, so today, remember that we've talked about SMART goals and setting those goals. We've talked about achievements and our emotions and then also about setting these goals and then thinking about worst case scenarios and getting those out of the way so you can achieve your goals. Um, Lila, thank you for being here. Thank you all. This was a great experience. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.